In previous videos, we discussed the situation before emergency and during the emergency. We have seen the rule of Indira and Sanjay Gandhi and public response to it. Like emergency was imposed suddenly, Prime Minister suddenly announced on 18th January 1977 that Parliament was to be dissolved and fresh elections held. This came as a surprise to our political opponents who were let out of their cells even as the announcement was being made on All India Radio. From all accounts, it came as a shock for us on Sanjay, who too had not been informed before. The term of the present parliament would have been extended year after year. The underground resistance had been fully tamed, and yet Mrs. Gandhi decided, suddenly and without consulting anyone, to return India to democracy. In this video, we will discuss why Mrs. Gandhi decided to return to the democracy. One explanation is that her intelligence chief had assured her that the Congress would be re-elected with a comfortable majority. Isolated from the public opinion, she was unaware of the extent to which her rule had become unpopular. By winning the election, she hoped to vindicate the emergency and also clear the way for Sanjay Gandhi to succeed her. Some felt that it was the consequence of competitive governmentship. President Bhutto had just announced election in his usually autocratic Pakistan. Could Mrs. Gandhi delay elections in her unnaturally autocratic India? Mary C. Garras, her biographer, has argued that throughout her life, her self-image had been that of a democrat. Indeed, her self-respect derives in good part from this self-image. She was compelled to prove to the world and above all to herself that she is and always has been a democrat. In the opinion of some other writers, once Mrs. Gandhi became aware of the emergency excesses and realized that matters were getting out of her control, she decided to get out of this trap by holding elections, even if it meant losing power. Her secretary, writing long after the event, offered yet another explanation. The emergency had cut off Mrs. Gandhi off from the public contact that previously nourished her. She was nostalgic about the way people reacted to her in the 1971 campaign, and she longed to hear again the applause of the multitude. Perhaps all these factors contributed. So did the international criticism. Mrs. Gandhi was strongly condemned by the former German Chancellor Willy Brandt and the Socialist International, by the World Council of Churches in Geneva and by the leading American trade union organization. There was also impersonal yet very public criticism offered in the then widely respected Times newspaper by the even more widely respected columnist Bernard Labour. Writing The Spectator, John Grigg recalled Nehru's commitment to the free elections and free press. Visiting New Delhi during the emergency, the New York Times A.M. Rosenthal concluded that had Jawaharlal Nehru lived until Indira Gandhi reigned, the two would have been political opponents rather than allies. An Indian friend of Rosenthal's captured that imagined scenario in this way. Indira is in the Prime Minister house and Jawaharlal Nehru is back to writing letters to her from the jail again. What finally persuaded Mrs. Gandhi to end the emergency? One cannot say for certain, but we can say that emergency was lifted for the reasons based on to Mrs. Gandhi. Whatever the character of the JP movement or of the emergency regime, there is no doubt that the decision of Mrs. Gandhi hold genuine free elections and her defeat and the opposition's victory that followed were a remarkable achievement of Indian democracy. The years 1975-77 have been described as the years of the test of democracy and there is no doubt that the Indian people passed the test distinction if not full months. In our next video, we will discuss the general election of March 1977.
which gave India the first non-Congress government. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and comment because discussion is solution. For more discussions, please subscribe our channel.